Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the newest iOS releases, iOS 16.1, which is actually really, really good. I'm really impressed by this update and the latest beta release, iOS 16.2 beta 1, which is also very impressive as well. But first of all, we're going to start with iOS 16.1 and some more new features. Before we get into the features, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you love the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot. And we're starting with the first new feature. So here's something I've noticed since I have updated my device to iOS 16.1. And is this like pop up right there on notes? basically telling you that you can now share notes so right here it says share this note invite others to work on this note with you so i didn't get this before maybe it's not exclusive to ios 16.1 but this is the first time i've seen this on my device another thing here that i have to mention that i didn't mention before in my videos on ios 16.1 is how easy it is now to change the wallpapers or just edit your home screen directly from the lock screen so when you tap customize you will see here basically two pages so you will have your lock and your home screen if you tap there you can now straight from the lock screen head on to the settings of your home screen change the wallpaper go to a different color or just enable or disable the home screen blur another really cool new feature that ios 16.1 will bring to your iphone is the ability to use the camera of your iphone as a webcam on your mac now you will have to have a mac which is updated to mac OS ventura in order for that to work but if you have that and you have an iphone on ios 16.1 now you can use your iphone's camera as a webcam there are a few changes on the picture in picture mode player as well so previously i showed you guys a new feature where it will just disappear when you take a screenshot so you take a screenshot it won't take a screenshot of the picture in picture player but now we have a few more changes here so right here the x button and the button that brings you back to the app don't have a shadow behind them they just have that transparent look around them and also we have a thicker slider right here down here the slider that shows you the progress of the video now it has been thicker with ios 16.1 so this is basically a ui update of the picture in picture mode player now I've shown you guys before how you can actually close the dynamic island like that and swipe again the other way to bring it back. But when you have something on the dynamic island and you have a second item there, so let's just go ahead and add something here. So if we have it like this, this setup right here, we have a bigger one and a smaller one. Let's say I want to close the smaller one. How I can do that, simply swipe it like this and merge it with a bigger one and now we have only that let's try to bring that back so if we just go into this app and enable that again i can do it the other way so if i want to close the bigger one and just have the smaller one right there i can just swipe this and merge it with that one and now the smaller one will take the place of the bigger item now these are some of the new features that we have been able to find on ios 16.1 but there is more and there is something actually very very important a bug has been fixed with iOS 16.1 which is one reason that i would suggest besides all the cool new features i would suggest everyone to update their device to iOS 16.1 now that bug is called series spy so with this bug any app with access to bluetooth could record your conversations with siri and audio from the iOS keyboard dictation feature when using AirPods or Beats headset. So this would happen basically without the app having to request microphone access permission and without the app even leaving any trace that it was listening to the microphone. So of course that's very, very bad. So I suggest everyone to go ahead and update the iOS 16.1 as this bug is actually very, very serious. We're moving on to iOS 16.2 beta 1 and here we have a few more new features. When you go to your weather app and you go to any of the charts right here, now you can actually slide like this and right there you can notice you can now move in minutes. Now previously it would move from let's say 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. 12 now it just moves even in minutes so you can know the exact weather at the exact minute. 
going to the stocks app, you can tap on the three dots right there. Now you will have the ability to actually sort your watch list. So you can see right here from manual, which is the default, it always has been like that. Now you can change, of course, the price, percentage, market cap symbol, and name as well. Another change here when playing music on your device that is an iPhone 14 Pro or a 14 Pro Max, you can see the secondary island right there is now much, much bigger. So the album art will look way bigger than it used to be on iOS 16.1. Also, if you're playing music and your iPhone is connected to your car's Bluetooth, now instead of just showing a speaker there on the player on the lock screen, you will actually see a car icon. Even though it's not connected to CarPlay, it is just connected to the Bluetooth of the car. And last but not least, we're talking about the release date of iOS 16.2. So right here we have an update from Mark Grumman from Bloomberg, of course, a very, very reliable source when it comes to Apple-related stuff. According to Grumman, we should see a release for iOS 16.2 around the mid of December. So here we have his latest post and it talks about the MacBook, the MacBooks that will actually be delayed this time around. They will be released on 2023 but iOS 16.2 is being released around mid-December. So taking a look at the calendar right here, we can see that iOS 16.2 will most likely come right here at around 12th or the 13th of December. These are the two dates that I believe should be the dates where we will see iOS 16.2 getting released to the public. So if you haven't already installed the beta of iOS 16.2 or you're not testing it as a public beta tester, this is probably the date when you will get iOS 16.2 on your device. This is actually a really interesting update. The first beta has quite a lot of new features and changes. Hopefully more to come with the next few betas over the next month. It should be really, really interesting. And while we wait for that release, we'll probably get another beta of iOS 16.2, probably as early as this week, might get it tomorrow with, of course, new features and changes. And based on the build number of the, of the first beta, I would expect Apple to go at around five betas before releasing the RC version. And then, of course, the final release of iOS 16.2. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is iOS 16.1, some more new features, and of course, a very, very serious bug fix. I suggest everyone to go ahead and update their device to iOS 16.1. As we could see based on that report, and of course, the report from Apple on all the bug fixes from iOS 16.1, that bug is actually very, very serious. And of course, iOS 16.1 will fix it. So make sure you have your device updated to iOS 16.1. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Don't forget. To... So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this to stay updated with the latest news on iOS 16. And of course, don't forget to smash that like button. And I'll see you on the next one.